Well, good morning. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. It is Friday, January 20th, 2012. We are in Luke chapter 11. Tough passages, but we got to deal with them. Verse 43, Woe to you Pharisees, for you love the best seat in the synagogues and greetings in the marketplaces. If you really like power and authority and a recognized position, you really like it. Not because it glorifies God, but because it glorifies you. Woe to you. Verse 44, Woe to you, for you are like unmarked graves, and people will walk over them without knowing it. You're dead on the inside. There's nothing alive there. That's what he's saying. All right, he's going to switch gears here. That's the Pharisees, but now the, the lawyers, the teachers of the law. These are all religious prideful leaders. He's going to deal with them. Verse 45, one of the lawyers answers him, Teacher, in saying these things, you insult us also. And he said, Woe to you lawyers also, for you load people with burdens hard to bear, and you yourselves do not touch the burdens with one of your fingers. Now, this could, I think this somewhat applies to government too, but we're not going to go there, alright? Okay. Um, this is talking about leaders. They're constantly asking people to do things. Or maybe on an individual level. They give you advice to do something that's very hard for you. And you do it. And it puts you in a situation. I'll just give you an example. I was given the advice to, well, never mind. I'm not going to go personal. I'm not going to go personal. I'm going to change my mind on that. But sometimes they give you advice that puts you in very difficult situations. And then they, they don't do anything to help you in the situation that you're in because you followed their advice. And I've talked to lots of people who've dealt with this. Happens in churches all over the place. Not necessarily mine. Trying to be friendlier this year in 2012. I'm trying to avoid sarcasm too, which I think I just messed up on. Anyway, verse 47. Woe to you. For you build the tombs of the prophets whom your fathers killed. So you are witnesses and you consent to the deeds of your fathers. For they killed them and you build their tombs. Therefore also the wisdom of God said, I will send them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and persecute, so that the blood of all the prophets shed from the foundation of the world may be charged against this generation from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who perished between the altar and the sanctuary. Yes, I tell you, it will be required of this generation. Woe to you, lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not enter yourselves, and you hindered those who were coming. As he went away from there, the scribes and the Pharisees began to press him hard and to provoke him to speak about many things, lying in wait for him to catch him. And something he might say. Now, that last passage was applying to that specific generation. Uh, it's not necessarily applying to everybody. That was the generation that built the tombs for the prophets. And yes, it was their forefathers that killed all the prophets. And now they have the ultimate prophet, God's son, coming to them. And they ended up killing him too. And yes, it was required of that generation. And that's what happened in A.D. 70. And I keep referring to that as historical fact, what happened to the Jews in A.D. 70. But notice what they were trying to do in verse 54. They were wanting to catch him in something he might say. And the, this is one of the overriding also characteristics of religious prideful leaders. They're looking for trouble. If you got somebody trying to do something good, they're looking for trouble. They're looking to catch them and stuff. They're always watching them. Uh, you know, I've got, I came up with a term, Facebook police. They got their Facebook police to see what they're going to say on Facebook and stuff. That's, that's religious prideful leaders. So if you're into that, if you're looking to catch people and things, trying to trap them, look at your own heart because you're probably a religious prideful person. And if you're, if you're not a leader, and if you're a leader, oh, that's worse. You're a religious prideful leader. 
Hey, don't be doing that. People are doing good. Let them do it. All right. Hey, that's all for today. You come back tomorrow. We uh, not gonna get any better tomorrow. But uh, hey, we gotta teach the word of God on the next edition of Take Five.